This clock tower has been a part of Baltimore's skyline since 1911. You can get a pretty good look at it from the outside, but much more awaits inside. So obviously a lot of people probably pass by the clock tower every day. What, what would you say the value is in actually taking the next step and walking through the doors to see what's inside? Absolutely. So uh, this building has not only a rich history, but we have 15 stories of artwork and artists to check out. Eliza Kurtz gave me a tour of the tower, starting with the Emerge Baltimore exhibits that opened in late June. And Emerge Baltimore showcases up and coming local artists. Artists like Damani Washington and Merjani Merriweather, who represent some of the best and the brightest Baltimore artists in the present. But as you work your way up the Bromo Towers floors, you start to learn more about the building's past. Right now we're standing inside our History Museum. Um, we have a lot of different old print advertisements for Bromo Seltzer, as well as photographs of the original building. When Captain Isaac Emerson built the tower in 1911, it was an office building for Bromo Seltzer, attached to the Bromo Seltzer factory. The tower used to be the tallest building in Baltimore best known for the clock at the very top. This is the largest four-faced gravity-driven clock in the world, so it's the largest of its type. Um, by gravity-driven, what that basically means is it kind of works like a big grandfather clock. So instead of looking at the clock tower from outside, Kurtz hopes you'll join her inside and see it all up close and personal for yourself. And it's kind of special to stand inside the clock, see the gears turning, and see everything working. The clock tower is so interesting and the building has so much character, um, but it is kind of a hidden story. The tower is open from 11 to 4 every Saturday. You can pay $8 to get a tour of the museum downstairs and the clock room up here. You can get your tickets for that here at the building on the spot. In downtown Baltimore, I'm Brianna Ross, WBAL-TV 11 News.